All right. Welcome back to the Shred Shed. Today we're gonna to be fixing my tubeless tire setup on my mountain bike. This past summer, I ripped my rear tire off the rim while riding up in Copper Harbor. I'm gonna roost it. Uh-oh. She rolled it off. What do you gotta do now? And when I did that, it messed up the rim tape. So since then, I've been running a tube in the back tire because we haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. So today we're gonna get that taken care of. Before we get started, I wanna thank PDs for sending over all the products that we'll need for this video. For full transparency, I didn't pay for any of these products, but they're not paying me to include them in this video. There are a lot of pros and cons to converting your bike to a tubeless setup, and it's actually becoming quite the polarizing topic. I personally think that the pros outweigh the cons just when looking at the maintenance aspect. Sure, the setup can be messy. It's certainly more difficult than leaving a tube in your tire. But sealant will plug holes where you would otherwise be patching an inner tube. Or even if the hole is more severe, bacon strips are much easier to throw in than completely swapping out the tube while out on the trail. And if all else fails, you can always throw in a spare if the sealant doesn't work or if the hole's too big for bacon strips. To get started, you'll want to remove your tires from your bike. Let all the air out, pop the tire off the bead, and remove the inner tube. If your tube is anything like mine, it's glued in because you didn't bother to take the sealant up before putting in the spare inner tube. Make sure that you save these in case you ever need a spare. If your bike is fresh from the factory, there's a good chance that it came tubeless ready. This means that your rims are already taped, you'll just need to add sealant in the tubeless valves. But since I ripped my rim tape off over the summer, we need to fix that. Typically when converting a new bike to tubeless, you don't need to add rim tape to your wheels. Usually they come pre-taped from the factory. The easiest way to do this would be to put your wheel into a wheel trimming stand, or even one of those park tool wheel mounts. But we don't have either of those, so we're gonna throw the wheel back onto the bike and use it to help hold the wheel. You can see right here that when I ripped my tire off the rim, it actually messed up the rim tape along with it and that's no longer sealing. So what was happening is, every time I'd go to try and add air back into the tire, I'd have sealant bubbling out of the nipples. And you don't want that. So we're gonna pull this tape off and we're gonna get it fixed up. So you can actually see where the sealant was getting underneath the rim tape and clogging up into the nipple holes, spoke holes, I don't know what you'd call them. And that's not what you're looking for. Um, this should be pretty well clean. So before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and get this rim cleaned up. That way the tape sticks to it like the way it's supposed to. Now that I got the rim pretty well cleaned off, now I'm just going through and making sure that I have the bead cleaned out really well. That way when we put this tire back on it, it sets in nice and easily. Okay, good enough. I hope. I've never taped a rim before, so. This isn't a tutorial at all. This is just me doing it. Oh, come on. From here, we need to poke a hole into the rim tape in order to install the valve stem. Again, if your bike came tubeless ready, there's already a hole so you can move on to inserting the valve stem. And these ones are sweet because they're actually multi-purpose. The caps actually have a couple little tools on them and they're actually different between the front and the rear cap. One has a valve core remover and the other has a spoke wrench on it. So that's pretty sweet. These ones in particular also work with tire inserts like Cush Core or anything like that. They have the slots. When adding sealant, I prefer to go through the valve stem as opposed to leaving an opening on the tire. For me, it's a much cleaner process. In order to set the bead, you need to get air back into the tire as quickly as possible. Some people have had luck just using a floor pump or a CO2 cartridge, but I prefer the easier route. The 
you'll know that the beat is set once you hear them pop into place. That orange looks sick. Give the tires a good shake, or better yet, go out for a ride to splash the sealant around on the inside of your tire. This will help plug any spots where air might be leaking out. From here, you can put your wheels back on your bike and hope your tires aren't flat next time you see them. If they're not, you know you were successful. Once again, I want to thank PD's products for providing the rim tape, sealant, and valves for today's video. Let everyone know down in the comments if you have any advice for someone who's converting their bike to tubeless. And if you like this video and you want to see more just like it, make sure that you're subscribed.